So this is a story about Disneyland and unfulfilled expectations. So it's 1960, back in the day, and um, I was like 11 or 12, and the whole family set out on a vacation. In the car, of course, because that's what people did, big road trips, so we went, uh, we were on the way to um, Los Angeles, and from Los Angeles, we're going over to Minneapolis and back. It's a big, big deal, right? So the whole family, four kids, mom and dad jumped in the 57 Cadillac and off we went. And of course we're packed to the gills. We get to Anaheim, California, which is right where Disneyland is. And so all the way down, the kids are going, dad, are we going to Disneyland? Are we going to Disneyland? He goes, mm, maybe, you know, and we get there. And I still remember the look on his face coming back from, the, you know, having, it was a gas attendant back then. and. He came back, he said, kids, we're in luck. And he said, the gas station attendant told me that Knott's Berry Farm is just as good as Disneyland and it's free. Ah, you know, can you imagine? After having gone all the way down, expectations, and you know, every day on television, we'd watch the Mickey Mouse show and we'd see Disneyland, Mickey Mouse Club, all that stuff, it was like a big deal. It was, you know, we only had two stations or three back then. So we were totally tuned up on it. And it was so disappointing. And there was no way that he, you know, well, I guess there must have been. Maybe that's the point of the story, is unfulfilled expectations. Looking back at, at, at it, it affected how I viewed things my whole life. Not expecting the best. And we didn't fight as kids, because we knew it was a sort of a useless endeavor, because he just wouldn't hear us. And we get to Knott's Berry Farm, and of course back then it's full of goats and cheese, and we can actually, I seem to remember being able to see the kids on the Matterhorn. Maybe it was in my mind, but there it is. And that was my Disneyland experience at the age of 11. And it formed who I am today. I got through it okay, obviously, but there you go.